what is happening y'all welcome on back and let's continue so right now we are starting things from the vestige of blind agatha uh, very similar to before it's gonna buff up the weapons and we're gonna go in and smash our way through these baddies very quickly Love how even though these are like the holy enemies, it's like I do not care. My weapon does not discriminate. You will all die. What's crazy is we haven't put like anything into our catalyst or you know, we've just been leveling up our base stats, our, our health, our stamina. The important stuff. Right, so make sure you swap over to the lantern. You already know. Bye. And a trick, if you're struggling with this, what I suggest doing is after you cast it, hold the left stick immediately in the direction that you want him to go. And that way you're going to ensure that you don't accidentally uh, miscast where you want that enemy. So, pick up this. Uh, now, as for whether you should use one of these or not, this area, I don't think it's that bad. I don't think the run back is that bad, but if you're worried, go for it. Um, I think this is, is a pretty, pretty cut and dry zone, though. So what we're going to do is umbral, go down this ladder. We're going to run straight for this wither mage. After that, we're going to go around here. Take out him over here. Now, one of these butterflies comes to life, but we don't actually have to get close enough to it. We can avoid the butterfly completely if we're smart about it. So, we're going to pop that. In the event that the butterfly was to pop up, honestly, it probably wouldn't matter because we've already seen the damage that Holy Man is capable of doing. She dropped a uh, Despair's Grasp. That's nice. Oh, hang on. Almost forgot you. I'm now at the point where I'm no longer caring about uh, I'm throwing the rock. I'm just like, ah, I'll just hit it. It's okay. I'm not really doing all that much casting anyway. So I'm going to go up. I'm going to run down to the end of this platform. There we go. Alright, now we are going to want to snipe this guy out. After we take him out, gonna run and emerge from umbral for now after doing that drop down kick the plank gonna get a heal off now this next area is basically ambush city kill that one Good. Looks like there's some stuff to come to me. Wish I knew that back in the Let's Play. Would have been so useful. Uh, so, plunge attack here. Want to pop that. Alright, so. This is what I was talking about. We're out. We're just going to swap up. Alright. Uh, now we're going to roll down. There are two of those guys, as you can see. So we are going to go right here. We're just going to chill. Oh 
my god. Well, we, we are going in Umbral, so that worked out, actually. In our favor. I've never fallen off a platform with the Umbral backstep. But we needed to be in Umbral anyway, because we're going to pop that. I'm going to vacuum up all of those. Uh, we want to go over here and pop this one. We're going to go down this way. Uh, nothing, nothing too dangerous down here. Like, there's no, um, basically just thralls in a wither bench. So, check these guys out. Go along. Get that. And then get that. That light into that heavy is pretty nice. It, like, uh, stunts our forward momentum a bit. So we swing in and then... Oh, no, it doesn't at all. I guess it just did because I wasn't locked on. Anyway, after getting all of those done... We're going to pop this open. And then we're going to head on inside. Now, initially I wrote that there was something in the fire here, but I don't, I didn't see it when I was doing the prep. I, like, went back and redid my prep notes, because uh, I know they changed some stuff, so. May have been just a piece of loot that was dropped, uh, but if you see something here, I'm almost positive, because it was something that was in these fires. I think I killed one of these guys, and they dropped something literally in the fire, and then I went to pick it up. Uh, but we're going to go down, and that's our blacksmith right there. Now, before we get the blacksmith, before we, we get anything, first thing we're going to do is go back. Especially because we didn't use the vestige seed, and so we absolutely want to have this shortcut unlocked. Upgrade. Let's get that endurance up. We'll go ahead and rest. All right, and now we'll go back down. Oh god, my heart skipped a beat. I looked at my recording and I misread the number, and I thought it said two seconds instead of eight minutes and two seconds, and I was like, "Fuck no!" But now nah, we're good. We're good. Everything's under control. Oh no! Everything's not under control! So, if that happens, which it may... Get your ass up that ladder as fast as possible. Because that is not how you want that encounter to go down. We're gonna put this back on, since they wanted to find out. Killed them. Now we're gonna walk over here. We're gonna get this. Uh, any dogs you can see, try and pop them off with ranged. If you can. If you can't, it's not the end of the world. So, that's good enough. to the Soul Flay Wombo combo. So after they're all dead, pick up ooh, some Brio Stone. How nice. Back here, we have some Bleed Cure. Here is the main item that we needed. The Prison Cell Key. Go on and take that over here to Gerlinda. You don't doing an... 
<laughs> Doing. <laughs> All right, now this door will open with the Pilgrim's Perch Key. It also contains enemies that are much, much higher level because the idea is you typically wouldn't fight these guys until you're just given the key. If you want to farm up the key, you're probably not going to be able to beat these enemies, but there's an amulet in there that I used literally all the way through the end of the game for physical builds. It increases your physical damage and your physical defense, which is phenomenal. So we're going to get it later, but if you really want to get it now, might be worth it, but keep in mind, you're spending 9,500 to farm that bad boy up. Either way, open that, open this chest. Defiance ring. Let's take a look at that one. Resistance to all status effects, which usually I feel like stuff that is broad spectrum usually isn't that good. Uh, either way, before the next encounter, it's probably worth it heading back to base. dropped a piece of candy for me. And now, the decision. I need to pick what weapon I, I want to work with. I'm really liking the double hammer. I want to stick with double hammer. Double hammer does feel, feels good. Feels pretty good. But the downside is then I gotta level up two weapons concurrently, and that just does not work well. Uh, either way, after we are back at base, a couple things we can do. The first being we'll go on over here and talk to him. We picked up all three of his items. As a reminder, the first was around the, uh, the very first one was around the lady that had the head cage, which we ended up taking her out. The second was in that area uh, with all those enemies that I was dumbfounded that we killed them all as easy as we did. All facets of uh, and the last one the we just picked up when this. we were uh, down in Umbral. So facets of this. get all of those, Two talk to him again. One, the other, when she stole with the council of an apparatus. Harrowood, a fitting place for one. Whatever poison, for they are nothing but the Basically, he wants us to hunt down uh, Dervila. She comes into play much later. We can at least run through his dialogue for now, and he'll give us some more items uh, a little bit later. Boom. Go into Umbral. Let's go over and talk to him. Hand over the bowl of revelations that we just picked up. And this will now allow us to offer a remembrance and buy boss gear. Now, since we're doing a Radiance build, I could just save up for Pieta's sword. I've heard really good things about it. I mean, it has 100, 100 smite damage baked in and it has holy, so it would probably be solid. Uh, more than likely we will. I also kind of want this, but that costs 30 radiance, and I'm nowhere remotely close to 30 radiance, so uh, probably gonna save up scourings and we'll pick that up. I've heard very good things about that sword. Uh, we can also get her armor, obviously, but uh, this is a priority for me. Now, this kind of goes back to what I said in episode one, and to better explain, in order to get Every piece of armor and weaponry and spell from all the bosses, it's going to take you about 300 Umbral Scourings. Or excuse me, it's going to take you about 900 Umbral Scourings. I misspoke. Uh, the problem is that you only earn like 300 in a playthrough, so you don't have enough to buy all the stuff. Now, obviously, we can do the online stuff, stuff like this. Uh, from what I understand from the devs, they are gonna they've they've added in the umbral scourings already. How much are they now? Are they just are they a one by one to one cost? Oh wait, this is bugged. Oh my god, is it No, oh no, never mind. We're buying them with vigor. It doesn't show okay, that's probably the bug then. Yeah, because I guess there are maybe a thousand per? I don't know. Either way, I know the devs are working on implementing uh, the ability to purchase Umbral Scourings here. I was talking to him and I'm like, listen, like, you know, ain't no way people are going to go through New Game Plus 3 just to get all the boss items. You know, that's, that's people aren't going to do it. There's just absolutely no way. Um, so you should be able to purchase them from there. Clearly it's bugged right now. I don't know how much they're going to cost right now. It looks like they cost a thousand per, which is still better than uh, 
going through New Game Plus 2 just to get them. Uh, but anyway, it's important to, to keep that in mind, and for the time being, I'd suggest buying things you're very interested in, and not just, you know, willy-nilly picking up stuff left and right. Um, did I have, like, 24 Umbral Scourings? Did I spend... What, what even just happened there? I thought I... I definitely had 24. I think I, like, sold an Umbral Scouring and lost money somehow. Uh, besides that, let's talk to him. Let's look at our other Umbral Eye. Uh, dodging at the right time applies Wither to an attacking enemy. Now, this is really going to be preference. Uh, getting a little bit of Wither is kind of nice, especially if you're doing a dodge focus gameplay. But keep in mind, having two, two Soul Flay charges this early can be pretty big. Personally, I think having two Soul Flay charges is going to be worth more, at least until we upgrade and we innately have access to two charges. Alright, now we're going to go talk to Gerlinda. Ah, Gerlinda, she hasn't bought. Good speech, she's left it. Gerlinda, it would do. You know, as long as... My name is... Silence! Annoying! Which he rebut. And now get so. Brings him to Gerlinda. As I would, I will not. Even upon... One little dialogue between those two. Uh, but at this point, I would suggest picking a weapon that you like and upgrading it. Uh, for the time being... I am going to, with a cost of 500, first thing I'm going to do is go to you. We're going to sell our skulls. We get full uh, full value out of these, so we're going to sell those. And then we are going to... Do you have anything I really want? No, that's a DD. We're going to upgrade. I'll just upgrade the main one, because I might end up going back to a shield soon. So we're going to upgrade one as much as we can for now. Since I have enough, actually, screw it, we'll upgrade both. Because now they're up to the what the next tier would be. Um, we don't have runes yet. That's going to come into play a little bit later. But for now, our hammers are upgraded and looking good. Uh, so, let me see. Three items to dummy here. Talk to Blacksmith. Upgrade a weapon. Oh, we can also upgrade our heal while we're here. We picked up one of those. Our holy work can fellow sanctified vessel. May Orion's divine radiance flow through me. Yeah, I'll probably pick up her sword. It's probably pretty badass. How far are we off a level? So we are not that far off. Okay, it's not bad. Uh, so we're going to warp over to the bell room. And we're going to go back to those three mages, and we're going to kill them, and then we're going to go up against another boss. So, this time we're going to be fighting Gentle Gavernous, the Mistress of Hounds. Uh, she basically summons dogs throughout the fight. They're very similar to the dogs we just fought by the Pure Blade Paladin. Uh, you can zerg her, you can kill the dogs, and then attack her. It's really going to be whatever works for you. Uh, from what I played... Bruh. Y'all are testing my patience, swear to God. They're not usually that aggressive. There's the elevator. Uh, okay, actually, now that I got some of those, let me equip those on. These are like life stones, they heal over time. Put that on, put the mana on. Uh, I will put on some... No, I think... Yeah, she's holy, so we'll do fire salts. And then, uh, this doesn't really matter. There's nothing I need to have in this slot. It'll be uh, poison resist in a little bit, but... Pop a little Brio Stone to top myself off. It's a very, very slow heal over time, but... Should top me off for the fight. Damarose is here again. So, Make sure you exhaust her dialogue ideas. once again. Fuck it. Name's Damara. It ideas got cut them down. She also now opens up as a merchant. So a couple different things. Uh, fire grenade. If you want a good fiery throne object, not a bad idea to pick one of those up. Uh, otherwise, the stuff is is pretty basic here. Uh, but either way, let's go into the fight. We're gonna put up our fire salts. And the way I like to do this is basically maintain range 
and focus on the dogs. Just keep an eye on her so you can see when the arrows are coming. And then now that I have an opportunity... Let's see, she can fight at melee range, but if you maintain range, she'll just keep using the bow. Actually, her dogs aren't even spawning that fast, so we're just going to try and finish this now. Damn. Yeah, that was... I didn't think we were just going to bully her like that. That felt kind of wrong, to be honest. I just... <laughs> it's just... Damn. Damn. Uh, don't use one of these things here. It's pointless. We have a vestige that's immediately up ahead. Um, let me see. What else? What else? Uh, tier 3 mages hit dog, uh, sky rest, avoid the bow and you're good. I run ahead and grab the poison bomb and then a new vestige. I mean, she's a mini boss though, you know, to be fair, it's just, it's just a mini boss. So that is already equipped, which is great. And here we are at the Vestige of Olaven. Oh, well, let's go ahead and pop that. Like I said, I'm going to get that up to 20, and then I'll let that sit, and I'll focus on getting my other stats. We have our buddy here again. Oh, but uh, at least I'm going to please. Put some might you, but I'm just put. You could even. But, so, um, I would suggest spending any extra money you have at this point. We're about to go into a boss fight where you're like dropped down into it. Uh, so picking up this wouldn't be a bad idea, even if it's just one. That way you have access to the poison cure, which the thing is the resistance bomb, these will increase your resistance and neutralize, whereas this will just cure. So in general, the bombs are just better. You might not need it, but we are heading up into a poison swamp, so it's probably not bad to have it. If you're a little bit low and you need to afford, Hello you could of course friend. go to sell. In general, I would suggest selling consumables. So, you know, those were what, 250 a pop? So I could sell, uh, you know, two of those and I'll sell like wither salts. I never use wither salts. Hello again, friend. And I could buy another one. Uh, but either way, we're gonna, well, we'll buff up when we get down there. Just run ahead and we drop straight into the pit. Now, this next boss is the Congregator of Flesh. Big, angry, beefy boy. So let's talk about him. Uh, he's big, but he's not that bad. We cannot use Soul Flay. He has a big swing combo that you need to avoid. It's actually pretty easy to iframe through it. Uh, he does have a slow crawl where he'll like, crawl a little bit and then he'll lunge towards you to try and grab. Definitely avoid that. Uh, the lunging bite as well. He'll wind up and try to bite you. Also not good. And on top of that, he can chain that from a slam. So the idea is he'll slam down his hand and then he'll launch towards you and try to bite. So in general, you want to try and stick around this guy's back legs and he'll like try to flop on his back and hit you, but you can usually get him good damage. As the fight progresses, he is going to roar. Poison's going to come out of the ground. But more than anything, this is kind of just like a DPS check. So uh, it's really not that bad in my experience. I think as long as you stay on this guy, you'll be fine. You can see there's his, his butt slam that he was so fond of doing. You can see if it hits you, it's gonna it's gonna cause some damage. You know, you're not just gonna get out unscathed, but all right, he's got a thing up, so we're gonna go ahead and pop it. Oh, he also has like a, a wave of uh, 
like body parts that he'll like vomit at you, but that's only if you're staying far back. There's the lunging bite that I warned you about. And there's the devastating butt flop. But the fight's not over yet. We now have our umbra form, and we're gonna fight to the death. So it's actually good that we died in that one, because him being a main boss, I gotta go ahead and pop that. So even though we're low on health, I wouldn't worry about healing or using a seedling or anything. We're just gonna run up ahead, we'll exit Umbral right here, and then uh, in just a second we're actually gonna have access to a new vestige. So even though we just exited, run on over here. Grab that, and then re-enter. Kill the Wither Mage. And we'll get this. Let's see. Uh, so we did that. Stigma, run ahead, Poison Bomb on the bridge. Enter Umbral, get the Salt Scarthered by the Wage. Ahead is more Poison Bomb near Byron, and then we rest. Okay. Yeah, go on up. Grab that around this corner here. Grab that, and here's our buddy. You won't find suddenly to take my. I've got many. Whether you've in power is up. Don't come still. So the vestige names Byron. Names Byron. All right. So having talked to him, he now has his dialogue all set. Exiting out, resting. And this is where we are going to wrap things up, just at the start of the Fen. So, I go ahead and upgrade our character. A little bit short, but we are almost at that 20 threshold. But I wanted to hit on Endurance, and I mean, well, obviously we're actually, we're doing quite well now. We're not really uh, struggling too much. Um, since medium is medium, I might as well upgrade and put on something a little heavier. Uh, this has slightly better poison, Poison, Fire, and Wither, but a pinch weaker on physical. Probably going to be worth it. I'm just going to put on whatever we can at this point. That looks like it'll be a uh, increase to our defensive capabilities, because we are already in medium. What I mean by here is looking at the encumbrance meter, we have three tiers here. We have low, we have medium, we have heavy. And different tiers have different roles. But since we had already crossed the threshold into medium, you know, there's not a difference between, like, 50 medium and 85 medium. Medium is still medium. So unless you're sticking with armor for uh, certain aesthetic reasons, might as well beef on up. Uh, but either way, we're going to wrap things up right here. And in our next episode, we'll get started on the Fen, the second major zone of the game.